Knight gets their first senior going on for James Nakashima versus number 12, Morgan McIntosh, a freshman from Santa Ana, California. So we'll see if that uh, the experience of Nakashima can help him out in this match. As Nakashima this one is started off. Before the matchup tonight, along with Tucker Lane, the heavyweight for Nebraska, two seniors on the squad. Well, Nebraska will be losing both of them. They do have a very deep roster. Nakashima 16 and 6 on the year. McIntosh is 14 and 5 and ranked 12th. McIntosh 7 and 1 in Big Ten duels so far this season. So one loss in the Big Ten came against Max Paulus of Indiana, the number fourth ranked wrestler in this weight class. Not a lot of hope going on right now. Penn State's only loss this year was to Minnesota early on. Nebraska's was to Iowa a few weeks ago, who Penn State did defeat number two at that time. First loss of those teams this season is still a, not a lot going on right here in this match. It's the first period as Nakashima is trying to get something going here. Packed crowd here at the NU Coliseum to see Nebraska take on Penn State. She got a reset again. Again, a top 10 matchup here. Number seven, Nebraska versus number two, Penn State. And you look at the Big Ten, they own six of the top 10 spots in the national rankings as far as team spots go. Always known as a very powerful conference. As they're just really not getting much going. Doesn't even look like they're going for the legs at this point. Now they do. There's McIntosh going in. No point. Looked like a reversal possibly there. As he sprawled out, that was you know Nakashima uh, sprawling out, but no points awarded. I'm impressed by the speed of both of these athletes. Both of them, the 197 weight class, a little heavier. You don't see a lot of that speed in this weight class, but both of them very quick moves and counter moves against each other. Nebraska defeated Wisconsin 36 to nothing in their last duel. Right now getting shut up by Penn State here at home 9-0 after the first two matches. A pin on the first one by Ed Ruth over Tyler Kane. And right now Quentin Wright just defeated Josh Enan. 9-5, uh, 9-6 in that match. We see Nakashima and McIntosh now still scoreless in the first period. Very physical match so far. We just saw McIntosh go down low and try to knock uh, Nakashima over, but to no avail for points. Both. Athletes doing a good job defending against each other. Really, both of them taking chances, but good counter moves, and really, neither one has gained an advantage yet. McIntosh, there's a fake move there now that is tussle up top. This is when you try to get that strength to go down low. McIntosh forcing those hands off of him. Both wrestlers arm wrestling right now for leverage, it looks like. Just under 20 seconds left to go here in this first round. Still no points. Yes, now they both go out of bounds. We'll go back to the center match, center of the mat, excuse me. 15 seconds to go here in the first period. Yes, Nakashima just forces him away. Now they lock arms again. Very popular here with the big guys as they try to lock arms. When you see the lower weights to go a lot lower and quicker, but these guys go for the big takedown. Big guys try to go strength. Little guys go for speed and agility. And yeah, that's the end of the first round. End of the first period, it is 0-0. Zero, zero. That's what you see Coach Mark Manning for Nebraska shouting instructions there to Nakashima. And Mark Here's Manning it. really happy with his team this year, seventh ranked overall in the nation. And really for the first uh, Big Ten year, they're doing a good job considering the strength of the Big Ten this year. You look nationally, like we said before, six of the top ten ranked teams. Mark Manning, 12th season, 163 and 62 overall. So a very good record here at Nebraska. Kale Sanderson is counterpart for Penn State tonight. If you recognize that name, Kale Sanderson, he was an All-American wrestler at Iowa State, went four years undefeated, very fine wrestler nationally known four-time All-American, Kale Sanderson. And his team really embarks kind of the, the strategy, he, strategy he did. He was a very good at, good at takedowns, a quick wrestler, as now we see here. McIntosh on top of Nakashima. Still no points in this match. As an escape attempt by Nakashima not converted. 
But now he and gets he the gets escape, it. and now it's 1-0 Nakashima, their first lead of the entire match between these two schools. Kale Sanderson not happy with McIntosh after that. Very good job by Nakashima just staying at it, going after his hands, trying to break that lock, and eventually was able to wiggle out of it enough to score the escape. Nebraska really battling from behind after that first match pin by Ed Ruth from Penn State. Tough to dig out of a hole like that going on, against, especially against a good team like Penn State. Oh. As now these two go out of bounds, almost a sprawl there, an escape, but did not happen. Now as Nakashima still up 1-0, trying to get Nebraska their first points in this match. And if Nakashima can hold this lead, this would be a big win for the Huskers because you look at Nakashima going up against a ranked opponent Maybe the Huskers didn't mark this one down as a possible win. And so if they can get points out of this, it would be big for the duel. Be big for Nakashima too here on senior night. His last match here at home most likely. As you can bet he's probably fighting his heart out there tonight just to go out with the bang here at home. In front of a very large crowd here, almost at capacity. As they go back out to the center. 33 seconds to go here in the second period. Nakashima still holding on to that 1-0 lead. He saw there, actually. There's a good sprawl there as he's got the right, the left leg of Nakashima. That's McIntosh, but he's not going to get any points for that. He's back up. They're not going to give an escape from that. Ten seconds to go. Nakashima just trying to get past the end of this period so he can get something going the next period as... The second period comes to an end, and the Husker fans are clapping in support of Nakashima. They know he's a senior, and they know that they need this. And there you see Kale Sanderson in his third season here at Penn State. We talked about a little bit ago, one of the best wrestlers all time in the NCAA ranks at Iowa State. He never lost a match, a four-time uh, champion and you know, in wrestling. Very he, impressive. Even if you didn't know those facts, if you just look at him, You'd be pretty intimidated to either go up against him or imagine being a wrestler, learning from a guy like that. That's, I mean, just a wealth of knowledge. And so far, he's got Penn State up to number two in the country. Looks a lot like Brian Erlock, if you ask me, for the <laughs> Chicago Bears. He probably got the same tenacity with these players as Penn State's really come out of nowhere to become a very solid school under his watch as we still see. Make mark that McIntosh did get an escape point there. So now we're tied up at one point apiece again. And here in the deciding period. As Nakashima trying to hold off, is there, down goes McIntosh on him. And he's going to force him out of bounds. Nakashima lucky who he was where he at, was at, or else there could have been some points on a takedown or a possible reversal there. And actually, McIntosh went for the legs and then got countered immediately by Nakashima. McIntosh did the smart thing and just drove him out of bounds. 107 here to go in this third and deciding period. It is still one all between Nakashima and McIntosh, the number 12th ranked wrestler in the country. Nakashima trying to give Nebraska their first points here on his senior night. One of two Nebraska seniors as he tries to get the reversal and they won't give it to him. Looked like he had the reversal. The Husker fans aren't happy. He's still got a foot in bounds, but now he's out. And Nebraska loses a possible point there. Sanderson sparking out instructions there to McIntosh now, saying, don't get yourself in that trouble again. 44 seconds to go here in this third and final period. Nakashima on senior night trying to get something going here. McIntosh goes still low on him. And a point there as he gets a point on Nakashima. That's a point for McIntosh. And now out of bounds. Big point there for the freshman. McIntosh, and now he leads 2-1. Two 2-1 to one. Two to one now, 27 seconds left to go. Big comeback there by McIntosh. So McIntosh with a 2-1 lead here. Is this final period is winding out as Nakashima goes to the legs. Now back up top. 15 seconds. He doesn't know how much time is left. The fans are letting him know. And Nakashima's He's just exhausted go. right he is, now. He is tired, and Mark Manning knows that he is upset. And this match is over. Big win there for McIntosh as he comes from behind. He was down 1-0 after the first two periods. He gets two points there.